Hi folks, I hope I kept everyone amused with uh, my Warthog Tinker shenanigans because um, I got this feeling that that flyover video is about to bust open and go viral. Just a feeling, we'll see. Um, what I got out here today on a more serious note is a bunch of Mother of Pearl. And I know Mother of Pearl is in everyone's bag, but I like it, and I just got some more in. So let's take a spin around the black. That trapper right up front there, the single blade trapper, that's a burnt chimney made by Boker in the 90s. And I uh, got some few other mother of pearl back there. And you'll see right up here in front of the otter is another burnt chimney. And that came in today. That's a four blade congress. But I'm going to show you that um, probably tomorrow. So I want to pull out the barlow that came. And let's pull this up a little bit. You'll see on the bolster, there is a serial number 097. And the burnt chimney logo. It has the razor type uh, blade. I'm not sure what technically it's called, but it's the first time I had one and it is thin too. It is really thin. Over here, you have the burnt chimney logo again on an emblem. It probably could have been, they probably could have did without that. But it doesn't hamper it too bad, I don't think. I mean, hamper its looks. It's almost kind of like uh, um, a boker. You know, without the tree, they have the chimney, but it looks to be about the same size. And since these were built by boker, I don't know, I haven't fixed my stand here, so you got to bear with me on the roughness. Stop right there for a pick. And let's pull it back around this way. So there you pretty much have uh, the show side. Let's check out the pile side. You know, it's actually better when I just spin it like this. Instead of spinning the whole thing. All right, live and learn. But I love that bolster, guys. That is one sweet bolster with that, uh, was that old English text? And let's check the pile side, side two. Side two is pretty plain. Don't have any uh, engraving or etching. So a pretty good scuff mark on the bolster there, but that's not a problem. Looks like he probably had, had it displayed out on a table or something because there's not a lot of use on the blade, that's for sure. I'll show you that in a minute. So it's in good shape for a 90s era. What was that? That means it's plus 20 years plus. 
Actually, let's do this again. I kind of like that. I don't know if I have too much lighting. But it's a little bit of eye candy. I thought it was kind of gaudy at first, but once I opened up the package, I kind of like it. All right, let's take a closer look at it. Now, um, Burnt Chimney's logo is something like we have the walk and talk, or we walk and talk. So, I'm going to prove that in a minute. Uh, take a look at it from this angle. And I just got done stropping this, so I'm going to try a little cutting test in a minute. Because who knows, one day I might wake up and want to shave with it. See how it fits in the hand. Bring this down a tad. It's your basic size Barlow. Um, fits right in the swell there. It's kind of glowing a little bit. Is anybody a fan of the razor blade style there? It's different than a spay. And it's not the kind for the one arm. There's your walk and talk. Because you really can't hook this on your pocket. So it's not a one arm bandit. She's got some walk and talk, fellas. Okay, let's test it out. The uh, pole on both is probably a six or seven, not real hard. You can get right at the nail mix real easy. Don't have to dig around. Um, a little bit of patina on the brass. I don't think there's any serious gaps. A little bit up here. But all together, the fit and finish is pretty good. Great transition to the bolster on both sides. Blade is centered, kind of. Close. So is the pen blade. Um, burnt chimney. Solingen, Germany. Stainless. And there you can see the scuffing on the bolster. But at least it's not bad on this side. But, for $60, I'm extremely happy. I don't know if I said it at the beginning of the video, but all three of these, this one, this one, and that one, I bought from the same seller for $60 each. I think I said that in the beginning. I'm getting old. I can't remember nothing. But anyway, let's... um. Listen to the walk and talk again. It has it on the out. Oops, that was my fault. Well, that one has it on the out. You get the click on the out. And then the clicks on the in. Now, I've seen one of these going on eBay for $100, and it was in worse shape than this but that doesn't mean just because someone puts some up for a hundred doesn't mean someone's going to pay a hundred for it um, i'm figuring this one would be worth a hundred 
and the one he's selling for a hundred is probably worth sixty. So I got the good deal out of it. Okay, let's um, pull this out. I'm going to compare this to my other mother of pearl Barlow, which is a Parker, and this is a made in Japan mother of pearl. And I paid sixty dollars for that. <clears throat> I mean, not sixty. I paid forty for that. Um, the guy wanted seventy for it for like two years, and he finally sold it to me for. Actually, I think he sold it to forty-five. Got him down. But that's a pretty nice Barlow too. But this one is much better. So we'll check it out for size. Go pivot to pivot, and pretty much same thing. So it's your uh, standard Barlow size, and here we go for a little ride. Uh, Parker's got some nice, uh, nice pearl too. It's nothing to sneeze at over there. How's that for a picture for you mother of pearl fans? Certainly not a Taylor eyewitness, uh, Lee White Barlow in Mother of Pearl, but it's a pretty cool knife nonetheless. And this is probably a little bit more rare. I, mean, I still don't know how many of these were made. And for the final test, Let's try, since it is a razor knife, I don't know if I showed you how, first I'll show you how thin the blade is. Quite a bit thinner. So, let's see what happens. I did strop it a little bit. And it's telephone book paper, so... We don't know what's going to happen. I guess I could shave with that. Might need a little more work. Yeah, that's, it's not going to do it shaving my beard. But anyway, there you have it. Burnt chimney. $60. Gaudy cool. All right, everybody. Stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.